Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and today we are going to answer Mr. Insane. Uh, Mr. Insane is a very well known knowledgeable person from Indonesia and uh, he is a genius. Uh, you know, but I'm not surprised because all those insane, uh, they are genius, you know. Uh, he just posted a video actually, I was going to talk about a different topic. But I just saw it. I said, okay, well, let us go do some spanking in the morning. Uh, is, is everything coming good? All right. Let us not to waste time and see what Mr. Insane want to say to us. Now, you know, uh, before we start answering, you know what? Let us go and see what he will say. Go ahead, Mr. Insane. Now, we will prove that what Christian Prince believes is all these times needs to be corrected because he always blames Islam, Quran, Prophet Muhammad, and even Allah, the one and only God. Just, we just straight, straighten and show him which is the true religion. Guidance belong to Allah. It is not important. Stop. You see, I'm trying to have patience to listen to him. Did he say guiding belong to Allah? Did he say guiding belong to Allah? Let us go to the Quran. Just to show you, Muslims, that those who teach you Islam, they are a bunch of ignorant. Chapter 4, verse number 88, it doesn't say that the one who guide you is Allah. It says the one who misguide you is Allah. And this is the verse in front of you. And here the Muslim, by the way, they add like things between the, the bracket, but it's not really in the Quran. Like they are evil. It doesn't say that, you know. However, it says that those who they are munafiqin, the correct translation. Are you going to guide them? Are you going to guide them? When Allah is the one who deceived them, look at the first translation. They say, "It is Allah who throw out. They throw them out away. He throw them what? What do you mean throw them away? Let us change the translator. Just to show you how how ignorant those who call themselves stars. They have no idea. Guidance does not belong to Allah. Deception belongs to Allah. Here we go. We just change the translator. Look what happened. And this is a Muslim translator too. It says, do you want? To guide him, him who Allah he made, he made has made to go astray. Astray here is a translation for the word adal. Adal means deceive. Are you going to reduna and tahdu man adallallah wa man yudilallah falan tajdalahu sabila? And the one who Allah deceive, you will not find guidance for him. So this guy from the beginning, he start belly dancing. Guidance belongs to Allah. So what this verse is about? And what kind of Allah is Allah? He says, are you going to guide the one who I deceived? Okay, hold on. That's mean anyone who is deceived in this earth is deceived by Allah. Correct? Uh, this is chapter 4. You guys, you are not focusing on me. I said already, chapter 4, verse number 88. Chapter 4, verse number 88. So the Quran, and by the way, this is why my book is called The Deception of Allah, because Allah deceive. And his deception, it's not, you cannot cure it supposedly. So Allah is saying, are you going to guide the one who I deceived? You cannot find a way for the one who I deceived. And here Muhammad, he exposed himself that he is not following the true God, because God, he sent his prophet to guide the one who is deceived. You see, Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy, right? <laughs> this is what the doctors do. Doctors, they come to the sick, not to the one who is healthy. The one who is healthy, he does not need any doctor. So when God, he sent the prophet, he sent them to guide, not to misguide. Look what Allah is saying. Are you going to guide those who I deceived? So here, we have 
clear answer that Allah is not God, Allah is the devil. Uh, if you ever suffer from buffering in the broadcast, just refresh the page. All right? Just click at YouTube again, get out and click again, in case. Don't pause those things like buffering, buffering. You know what I can do about it is internet. So here we notice from the beginning that Allah is the devil. For Allah, not only he could confirm that he is the one who deceive people, he is the one who will not let them be guided. So this person saying, uh, accept phone call, I don't know. We will see, depends how, far, how fast we go. So, uh, when, when a Muslim, he says to us, Allah is the one who guide, I laugh. Because this is against the Quran teaching. And I understand what he, why he's saying that, because the Quran is against the Quran. Quran is a stupid book. You see, the Quran says, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. You know? You will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is exactly what we find in the Quran. How Allah is the one who guide, and how Allah says, are you going to guide the one who I did deceive? In chapter 4, verse number 82, Muhammad in his Quran said, If this is a book not from Allah, then you will find a lot of contradiction. And here we go, we find a contradiction. How this guy he is saying in his video that the, the, the guidance belongs to Allah, and then in the same Quran, which he is reading from, it says that deception belongs to Allah, and Allah deceived, and he will not allow anyone to be guide, guided, especially the one he targeted. And then here you ask yourself, why Allah want to misguide people? Does not make sense unless he is the devil? And this is exactly what we are talking about. Allah the devil, he will not like to see people guided. Hmm? And that is his mission in this earth. If we go, if we go like, you know, uh, we ask uh, Muslims some questions. Uh, Actually, let us go back to this guy because you see, I don't know. He, the guy, he just start talking, and he got a spank from the beginning. And do you think he is going to answer? Do you think he will ever dare to answer what I just said? That the Quran says, "Are you going to guide the one who I this mislead?" He will not. You know what I mean? So what those guys are, it's like a, it's like a, a drum. Too much noise, but it's empty from inside. We have no answer for anything. Okay, this is my question to the Muslims. We just showed you a verse from the Quran saying, Allah guide the one who Allah must guide. Why Allah is guiding people? If God is, is Allah is all merciful, the guidance belongs to Allah. Allah, he sent messengers, 124,000 messengers to guide. And then yet he says, are you going to guide the one who I deceived? <laughs> Why you deceive them? Because he's the devil. 